Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Mary from uh, Canada College at Stanford, uh, Toronto campuses. So today, um, first of all, I wish you uh, everybody safe and healthy during this uh, pandemic. Um, so I wish you guys coming back soon for uh, the class in person. Hopefully, it's going to start very, very fast, very soon. So uh, today, I'm going to give you a presentation about our college, especially the uh, Stanford campuses in GTA. Uh, I have a slide uh, ready for you guys. So just uh, come with me. Um, first of all, I'm going to introduce our programs here. So we do have uh, a lot of programs, undergraduate diploma program, and uh, graduate certificate programs. So for undergraduate programs, we do have business, business accounting, computer system technique and admission, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, public relations, and early childhood education. So for graduate certificate programs, we do have business management, supply chain management, mobile application development, project management information technology, project management construction, healthcare administration, and human resource management. So um, for the language proficiency, so at this moment, a lot of our center are closed. So we do have other options for you if you want to prove your English language proficiency. So we do have a list of the examination uh, accepted. We have IELTS, we have TOEFL, we have TOEFL paper-based, we have Pearson test, we have uh, CFR, we do have uh, Canadian Academic English Language, we have Cambridge test, we have ITEP, International Test of English Proficiency, and we do accept bilingual test, which is preferred nowadays. So for Duolingo, uh, since it's a new uh, test, I'm going to go a little bit further. For certificate and diploma programs, we require students to have 105 and plus. For aviation graduate certificate programs, it's a little bit higher. It's 115. And for high demand healthcare programs like uh, practical nursing, uh, dental hygiene, for these type of programs, we require 120 plus. Okay, so if you still could not meet the language proficiency, we do have the uh, language programs for you to start. So when you apply, if you could not provide us profi uh, English proficiency test, we're gonna place you to the language programs we have. So according to the, you, have, you will be required for a um, placement test. After doing the placement test, we do have uh, the uh, levels for you. So you can, uh, it ranges from one semester to five semesters according to your language proficiency, your language level. Okay, so uh, the general admission requirement for other programs. So for students in India, we prefer students meet the SDS requirements. So the student direct stream requirements, which is IELTS 6.0. Uh, no band under 6.0, no more three-year education gap for undergraduate programs, and no more than six years education gap for graduate programs. So for other markets, IELTS for undergraduate programs 5.5. IELTS for graduate programs is uh, 6.0, nothing under 5.5. Um, you know, due to the current situation of COVID-19, if we have things we are accepting students doing bilingual test, which is not SDS anyways. So if we have students who could not present SDS IELTS requirement, who might have one band under 6.0 for the India market, we could still consider based on case by case basis. So we need to uh, assess the student's education record we need to see the student other qualifications. So we might grant approval for student who does not meet the SDS IELTS requirement as well for the students from India. 
Okay, so uh, let's talk about a little bit details for programs admission requirements. So for different programs, the admission requirements are a little bit different. Um, in general, they're the same, but um, you know, for different ones, some something might required might be required. Uh, let's say for business undergraduate program, two year business diploma, business general. We need students at least have mathematics in grade 10. For business accounting, since it's accounting based, so student needs to have mathematics or accountancy or accounting in grade 12. For computer system technician networking and the mechanical engineering, those programs are uh, requiring students to have mathematics in grade 12. For uh, civil engineering, the same requirement as well. They need grade 12 mathematics. For public relation and early childhood education, it's very general. It's just basically high school graduates. Okay, so for uh, graduate programs, it's a little bit different. First of all, in order to uh, be qualified for graduate programs, student needs to have diploma or degree uh, for post-secondary education back home. So in this way, um, for business management program, we need graduates from uh, college, university, or any degree programs for supply chain. So this has a little bit different than the business management program. So students should have two or three year college diploma or equivalent from post programs in business, civil engineering, hospitality, information technology, transportation, or significant work experience. So for this specific program, we basically need students to have uh, applied science their uh, degree or diploma program. So student of general science or arts is not qualified for supply chain. So applied science or arts is uh, required, not general science or arts. Um, for mobile application development, development and uh, PMIT, project management information technology, so these two programs are computer science programs or IT programs. So in this way, students should have background in computer science, information technology, electronics and communication, or significant work experience in those related fields. And also for uh, project management construction. So since it's based on uh, construction, so students should have programs in architecture, civil engineering, or significant work experience. For healthcare administration, so it's a healthcare program. We need students to have background in uh, medical science. Uh, for example, nursing, dentist, or um, pharmacy, something like that. For human resource management, it's very general, the same as business management. So it's just basically college, university graduates. Okay, so uh, so for admission documents, for pass for fast processing, so everything should follow the guidelines. Um, basically, we need a student's passport photo, photo page. Uh, if you have a last page with your uh, address, we need that page as well. We need student's visa or study permit if the student is already in Canada. We need IELTS or any other uh, language proficiency test, which I mentioned in the past few slides. We need grade 10 mark sheet, grade 12 mark sheet. So for other, some other country, it might be a different uh, format, but at least it has to demonstrate the students are high school graduates. So we need college university diploma, mark sheets, and a certificate if the student has attended any. So if the student is a high school, uh, sorry, college and university graduates, we do need this. For the market in India, if the students applying from overseas, we do need a backlog summary sheet. Uh, if the student is already in Canada, we need a student study record. Like let's say any academic records in another university or uh, Canadian education institution uh, should be most updated and up to date for the transcript or any enrollment letter. 
Okay, so we do have a portal. Uh, your agent will help you uploading uh, the application into the portal. So currently, for now, the application is free. But in the days to come, let's say, uh, because we are still working on it, it should be very soon. We are charging 100 application fee on the portal for each application, which is not refundable. So as of this minute, it's still free, but it will we will charge very soon. I don't know when, but it's coming soon. Okay, so for the website, we do have uh, our official website, canadorcollege.ca. So if you have any questions regarding the admission requirements or any programs, especially the programs in our North Bay campus, because in our North Bay campus, uh, we have a lot more programs, a uh, lot more options. You can, you can uh, look into the programs over there by looking at the website. Okay, thank you so much. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the Q&A session and uh, or send your agent an email. So we're happy to answer your questions at any time. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much, Mary, for this uh, wonderful information you're giving to students. I would quickly okay. like to ask you some questions, some most okay. commonly asked question from our students. Mm -hmm. OK, during this COVID situation, everybody knows that the online classes are going on. So I would yes. like to know something more about that, that how, um, because students are very curious to know how the online classes are going to be. So can you give us some information related to that? Yeah, so for now, uh, we started from May intake doing classes online due to the COVID situation. So basically it's delivered from Zoom. Uh, we mm -hmm. have, uh, yeah, we will send the student link. We'll register the student into the link and the student can continue mm -hmm. their uh, attending their classes through this uh, link on Zoom. So that's how we are doing it. For most of the programs, we are doing it in this way. For some programs, it's hybrid, like the uh, civil engineering, mechanical engineering. So for those two programs, um, partial attendance in person will be required. So uh, if the student is overseas, we will provide the mm -hmm. For students to travel to Canada for this September intake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how we are doing it. Yeah, even okay, for students. So, does that make. Sorry. Yeah. So, does that even make any change uh, to the yeah. schedule? Uh, because, um, as far no. as we know, the classes are. Mm -hmm. Three days. Yeah, it's, it's still three days, uh, 18 to 20 mm -hmm. hours full time. So, each day, six to seven hours. Uh, it's basically not changed either Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or oh, sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, either morning or afternoon. So basically, still mm -hmm. we are in the original uh, uh, time and date. Yeah. Okay. So we also have question coming from our students who are actually currently enrolled in some English pathway programs, for example, mm -hmm. ESL or EAP. At different language schools so i would like to know if you have options for those students and if is there any particular language school you are accepting uh, basically the ones like everybody is accepting we are accepting so yeah the requirement okay. is similar so it doesn't matter where the student okay. is from if the students from india is fine as mm -hmm. long as you have the pathway program mm -hmm. we're happy to uh, you know discuss on the students uh, application. So usually you have four students send me a uh, you know uh, write on the uh, comment in the portal. So we will look at it case by case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, what is the current turnaround time? Because we still have students who are still looking for September intake. Uh, mm -hmm. If we submit the application now, how quickly do you think uh, it can be processed? Uh, where is the student? here or overseas if student is uh on short oh yeah yeah because uh, for now for september we are no longer accepting applications from overseas because you know first of all the students mm -hmm. cannot travel we recommend students yeah. taking general taking instead and for the students who are here we are still open for most of yes. our programs i can send you a detailed link mm -hmm. uh, list after our uh video 
So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, if you submit the application with complete documents, usually the the operator comes within five business days. Sometimes even mm -hmm. faster. Yeah, because okay. at this moment we do deal with a lot of deferral cases, so we might be a little bit busy, but still, like we are happy mm -hmm. to uh, have the application for September as well. And for now, if the student is ready to apply for September, the payment deadline is, uh, you know, um, for now it's August 31st for all the students who are having September offers, I mean, the new applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The time August is 30, 31st, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, the class starts on the uh, second week of September. So we need some mm -hmm. time to get our, our staff prepared for their schedule and their uh, curriculum plan. So that's why we need a fees to confirm a little bit mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in, in advance. So that's why we keep all the deadlines August 31st for September new offers, new applications. Okay. Is there any? Is there still any possibility if students can pay some deposit before 15th of August and then they can pay the remaining deposit later? Is there any possibility like that? Because students right yeah, now, because so of yeah, basically they can pay 2000 like any time after their, you know, after they receive their offer immediately. And then for the mm -hmm. rest, they still need to clear uh, by August 31st as of now. So we'll okay. see. Yeah. Okay, 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 great. great. Thank you so much. And uh, I wanted to talk about the application fees as well, because you were saying that uh, there will be an application fee of $100 in the coming day. So until yeah. when uh, the application is free, so you know, students can take advantage um, of it. You know, because uh, that we are doing the transitioning uh, in our uh, admission portal. So um, mm -hmm. last week they were saying this week, but uh, as of today, I don't see it happen. Mm -hmm. I think they're uh, still figuring out on some technical um, issues. So I don't okay. know. I cannot provide a date. But um, as long mm -hmm. as you can see it over there, because without paying, if it, mm -hmm. if it is uh, started, without paying, you are not yeah. able to have the application submitted. So by that time, yeah. you know, uh, it's in the coming days. So if you do have applications, I can only say just submit as soon as possible to avoid mm -hmm. the application. Yeah. It's going to be very okay, soon. Good. We accept major credit cards for that, for that application. Okay. Fee. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Do you want to say something to the students who are onshore with a valid study permit and they're willing to apply for fall twenty intake? Yeah. So you know, we still have programs open. So if you are thinking mm -hmm. about getting some admission. Uh, just send the application to us. We are very happy to accept you as our students, as always. Um, we do have a lot of programs, and uh, you know our online delivery is uh, supreme. A lot of students give us very good feedback on those online delivery. Even you know um, mm -hmm. if the situation gets better, we are happy to get you back to the classroom as soon as we could. Um, if you are interested yes. in any you know any of our programs. Just join us. Uh, you know, if you are in country, if you are already here, uh, after graduating from our programs, you could get a PTWP, which you desire, you know, before applying. So yeah, which is yeah. very good option. And we do have like, you know, three day class, uh, flexible schedule if we could. So which will benefit the student always. That's why we, we have a lot of uh, applications as well. You know, it's very popular mm -hmm. to be honest. So just enroll as soon as possible when we, because at this time we don't have application fee, but in the days mm -hmm. to come, I don't know when, we are gonna charge you application fee. So if you, you if you are ready, just apply today without hesitation, okay? Okay, so students, yeah, this is the time to apply because right now there's no application fee. So if you're looking forward to apply for fall 20 intake, if you're offshore with the, onshore with a valid study puppet, this is the perfect time to apply. And before we conclude today's session, Mary, I have one last question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, is the are you accepting applications for January uh, twenty one intake already? Yeah, uh, we are accepting. Yes, so that is open for okay. offshore and onshore students both. So for oh, now, that's most great. Are still open. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, if the students are overseas, or if they are there, yes. they are here already. Yeah, so just apply. Mm -hmm. It's it's already open. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. This information no was really, really good.
Thank you so much and uh, have a good day ahead. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. No problem. Thank you for having me. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye.